Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you today? A uh, little rough. I'm, I'm in the camper. <laughs> a camper here. That's what I call it. Ah, so we're going to talk to Gunner. Um, pretty sure you've done this before, but I like to remind people. If it doesn't make any sense now, keep it in mind because you'll either see it later, remember it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later and they'll go, oh, I know what he's talking about. Um, there is always a reason for whatever they show or say. So, like I said, if it doesn't make any sense at this moment, just keep it in mind. I had somebody <laughs> email me a month or so ago and said the reading I did for him six months before that, one of those things finally happened. And uh, so sometimes it's not something that you've seen yet, shall we say. Oh. He's, he's singing zippity-doo-dah, zippity-day, my oh my, what a wonderful day. Let's rest of it. Plenty of sun sh sunshine coming my way, zippity-doo-dah, zippity-day. So Disney, what is it? I think it's Jiminy Cricket that always sang that song. He says you need to sing that song in your head every morning as soon as you get up. You need to start your day with zippity doo dah. It's a wonderful day. Yes, cheery. Yes, bright, cheery. Instead of, well, we all do it. Um, oh, crap. I got to hurry up. I got to go to work. I got to get ready. I got to get out of here. You know, even if you don't work. You know you know what I mean? There's some people going fishing. Carrying their stuff down there. So. He says, try to find more joy in your life. Not that you're not a happy person. He's not saying that. But there's so much more joy to be had. And he wants you to feel that, to know that, to search for that, to make it like your number one goal. Oops, I'm going to shut the air conditioner off. It gets noisy when it comes on. He says you're feeling like you're stuck, like you're stuck in a rut type thing, like... He's calling it a stalemate. So I don't know if you're stuck as far as somebody else. Or he's calling it stalemate, but he's calling it stuck. Like you're just stuck. It just, it's just there. It just. He says it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. But you're not moving forward you're just I don't want to say just existing oh I feel like that a lot though just just existing just here now what do I do and when you ask are you where you need to go he says yes and no yes and no got to be a little more clear than that Yes, you are. He says you need to pep it up. You need to pep your step up. You need to pep, pep. He says you need to do something lively. Like take a painting class, take a dance class, take a yoga, take a take an aerobic class, take a swim class, anything, anything, something. So there's something you would like to do that maybe you think you would feel silly, like, let's say a dance class. I'm just going to pick that, because that, he's not saying which one it is. It's whatever you feel in your heart. Whatever you think will make your heart sing. That you're feeling not enough pep in your step, not enough zip in your doodah, um, not enough, um, oh, I'm too big to be doing that, or I have no idea what you look like. I have no idea what size you are. You might be a beanpole. I have no idea. I'm not saying you're big. 
I'm saying it's something like that. But it would, you would meet other people, new people, and you would love it. He says you would love it. Go pick something. Go pick something. Besides washing TV and doing the dishes. Those are chores. He says, those are chores. He kind of made, he kind of made a face like that. They're chores. He says, go find you some cheap little class. It's out of the house. Something you've never done before. And it's going to brighten your outlook. Let's see what he's showing me. Sometimes they get <laughs> a little charade type stuff. It's Have you seen him? It's, it's kind of like he's showing me, like you're looking down a hallway or, or in a, towards another room or something, and you see something that maybe kind of look like a shadow or something go by. Usually, we see that in our peripheral vision. And I include this, too, because I could be working at my desk and see somebody walk by. And they do it to me, too. You raise your head where you look and go, did I see something? Something walk around the corner and you don't see it when you break. They do it to me too, even though I can see them. Know that that's him. It's kind of like he's sneaking around your house. Sneaky. Like not really making himself known. That's why he kind of looked like a shadow. But it's validation. So just when you see something out of the corner of your eye and you turn your head and look, you go, yes, but just making that up. Trust it. Trust that that's him. Say hello. Hello, Gunner. I love you. Thanks for coming to visit me. Let him know it's okay, if it is okay. Validating, acknowledging, telling you loving. <laughs> now he's, he's doing some kind of crazy little dance. He's just kind of kicking his legs and he's not really, he's just some kind of wild, crazy little dance. He's, he's trying to pep your energy up. I'm not saying your energy's bad. I'm trying to put a little pep in your step. He says, if nothing else, nobody's around, turn some music up and dance like nobody's watching. Put a little pep in your step. He's saying it again. He says, then go sing in the shower. Did he used to sing in the shower? Do you sing in the shower when nobody's home? Or maybe you think you shouldn't sing in the shower if somebody's around because your voice isn't good enough. I'm not sure where he's going with that. Who cares what other people think? Sing anyway. Pick some wild little crazy song. I keep hearing, I don't know if you've seen those videos of that dog. Um, he kind of, he kind of runs like this, and he, he kind of bounces, and, it, and some of them will say, I'm a happy, happy, happy dog. I'm a happy, happy, happy dog. I just love watching those. He said something like that. He wants you to be like that, happy, happy, happy dog. Just happy, bouncing with a smile on your face. He says, then, then some, th some, any, some of the things that go on around you, which is normal life. He's not saying anything bad. We'll just, they'll seem a lot smaller. They won't seem as big. They'll just be, they'll just be things that happen. Mm -hmm. 
So again, again he's he's talking about where you need are you where you need what was it? Where you need are you where you need to go? He said life changes, people change, your hair changes, your toenails change, everything changes, your hair color changes, everything changes, and it's supposed to, and that's good. Change is good. Because it's it's not. If life never changed, you'd still be a baby in a diaper. I like that. A little change is good. I'm hearing something about your heart in Arizona. I have no idea where you live. I don't ever creep anybody's Facebook page before I do a reading. Like your heart's in Arizona. So I don't know if you live in Arizona or somebody you love lives in Arizona or you'd love to go to Arizona, I would. I've been there, but not where I want to go. Sometimes, like... Probably like when you're sitting on the couch watching TV and maybe you're zoning out, you know, sometimes we just stare at the TV and not totally into it. And you just kind of feel this sweetness, not smelling sweetness, feeling the sweetness, a calm, a love energy around you. That's him. That's his energy. He's trying to bring you peaceful, calm, loving energy. And if you just kind of feel that some evening when you're just sitting there zoning out on the TV, thank him. Let him know that you know that's him. And there's our validation. I am not sure why he's showing me this. He says you need to pamper yourself a little bit. And he's like showing you with a big old bathrobe on, sitting on the couch with your feet up on the coffee table, some fuzzy slippers on, but smoking a cigar. What the hell? Did he smoke a cigar? <laughs> Do you smoke? I would not encourage you if you quit smoking to pick one up. Because that's why I vape. It's good. Can't quit smoking. Maybe you smoke those little cigar little things. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm talking to a girl. Most girls don't smoke cigars. <laughs> Itch. He says, just kick back. Have your favorite drink, whether it's alcohol or whatever. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Puppy, puppy, puppy. There's nobody out there. Puppy, stop. The neighbors must have their dog out and she's smelling it. She can smell it through the cracks of the camper. So. Showing your head like, like with a shower cap on and this big old bathrobe and you're just kicked back. <laughs> Having a smoke. <laughs> he says... You need to chill. You need to chill sometimes. He goes from you need to pep it up to you need to chill. There's times for both. Oh, and as you got your feet kicked up on the coffee table, even if you don't have a coffee table, this is just the way he's describing the scene. Sometimes it's exact. Sometimes it's general. Like tickling your leg, like running his finger up and down the lower part of your leg. And I've been having that go on for quite a while, sitting on my couch. And, and I think, what? Who is tickling down by my ankles? And so I'll put my feet out in front of me. I think maybe there's a fly in here. And I'll watch and I'll feel it. And there's no fly. And my puppy's not close to me, so she's not tickling me. Is there a hair on my couch down there by my leg? Nope. It happened over here a while ago, and I'm sitting at the table in the camper now. It, it just keeps doing it. 
and doing it. And, it. and it did it at home when I went home the other day. It just keeps doing it. I don't know who it is. So if you feel that tickling, tickling, that's him. Yeah, I think that was a fly. Just had it on my foot. There is a fly in here. He, he wants the best for you. <clears throat> Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you. Ask him to show you. Ask him to uplift you. Ask him to help guide you. You would be surprised what they can do from the other side. And it's all good. It's all good. They want nothing more than to help and bring love to you and peace and help you through this hard life we have here on earth. And he says, I love you to the moon and back. And thank you for thinking of me with such kind thoughts. I really didn't know what to expect from people after I left. But the overwhelming love that I felt from everyone really makes me feel good. Really, it helps his, helps his energy. We're pure energy when we leave. We don't have this heavy body. It's our energy. And we try to get it to vibrate. Once we leave, we get plans, and we try to get our vibration up as high as we can. That's the goal, and love is the biggest generator of good vibration in your energy. He's singing zippity doo dah again. You're a wonderful person, whether you know it or not. And don't let anybody tell you anything different. Because you have a big heart. And I love you very much. And I'm glad you were a part of my life. I'm not kissing cousins, but I don't think you guys are actually kissing, but I'm not kissing cousins. So I'm not sure what he means by that. He says, how do you like my hair? Well, it looks kind of like his hair in the picture. It was kind of like, how do you like my hair? Was he kind of prissy with his hair? There's a whole lot we can do in this great big world. And you haven't even discovered an end of it. He says, go investigate, go find, go, go find something. New things, learn new things, do new things. Validation, validation. And don't forget the world revolves around love. That is the one thing you need to keep your mind pinned on. The world revolves around love, not hate. With that, he's going to leave. He's skipping. He's skipping as he leaves. He's just skipping along like happy, 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 happy dog, happy, happy dog. I think I have one of those videos on my page somewhere. I like to find those like TikTok late at night and then post it. So when I wake up in the morning and I go and look at, okay, what's on my Facebook? And I wake up to these happy things first thing in the morning. It really helps to start the day out that way. Okay, much love to you, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator. Voice for your loved ones. 
See you later. Don't forget to spread a little love.